Thank everyone who's got a five dollar bill in their hand. You gotta say that right in front of you, right? <laughs> We just got out of another sale. Uh, everything was two dollars, pretty much, which is pretty much the most I'll pay. Um, uh, like 111 bucks or so, um, and and I, I wouldn't want to get too much more than that paying these prices. So um, you know, it worked out. I'm gonna go drive over there and pick up my books. All right. Um, I just got home. And, um, so I just want to show you what we got. We got, um, three tubs right here. And, um, three tubs we got, um, one, two, three, and a bag. Okay. And I just want to show you guys something. When we, when you're paying two dollars a book, this is what I want my books to look like. The focus is a little messed up. Okay. Now look, they're not always gonna they're not always gonna come up like that, but if possible, you want your books to look something like that. You want your merchant numbers, you don't want them to be penny books. Um, even if the FBA is high, too high a likelihood that um, it's not, the scanner's not giving you the full picture. Um, so more, I'll take a chance on those in the bag sale setting. If I'm paying two dollars a book. Forget about it. Uh, you want to see the merchant number higher than four dollars with shipping. You want to see that merchant number five and up at least at a minimum. Okay, it's very important. Um, and uh, you'll see on my. Um, on my bins here. First of all, the, the sale is crowded as all hell, um, as expected. You can see I have right here private property. Do not open. Okay. Now you can argue as much as you want about whether that makes a difference, but it's just an extra step. Like, hey, listen, you're actually breaking the law if you go in here and try to take stuff, and it's a fair warning. Okay, so. Um, and look, there's nothing they can say at that point, right? You have private property written on your bin, right? They can't be like, oh, well, uh, I thought it was part of... No. No, no, no. You know? So that can't happen. Um, so, you know, we started doing that. Um, so, um, yeah, this is actually the same day I just brought out uh, 1,200 pounds of uh, books. So I am really tired. I really didn't want to go to the sale today. We ended up getting about 110 books, spent $220, and they were all good books, right? Because normally you see I get much more than 100, but they are $2 a book, right? So, you know, I'm not just taking any old book here. Um, they have to make sense. I'm not taking stuff over $2 million. I'm not taking most stuff over $1 million. I'm just not. Um, some things I do, they're worth it. But I'm not taking a book going for $9.95, $1.5 million rank for $2. No way. You know? That's just a bad business model, in my opinion. Um, so, um, I just want to show you guys a few things about what I got. Tomorrow I'm probably going to do tag sales. Nothing really good going on tomorrow. There's a bag sale Sunday. I'll probably hit that. And, uh, you know, as usual, I'll let you guys know what I find. Um... I'm hoping to send out at least 500 things this week. So if I can do that, um, if I don't send out at least 500 things out in a week, I think it's a complete failure of the week. Um, it just is. So hopefully I should be able to maintain that goal. Um, so 
I will get back to you soon with another video. Like, subscribe. Peace.